What's up, everybody? Josh Armijo here. I hope everybody's doing good and well and stuff. I got an album review to do for you, and I'm going to be talking to you about the new album from the band Hack of It's, entitled Darkness Beyond. This is released on Dark Descent Records. Now, if you're not too familiar with this band, they are based out of Querétaro, Mexico, and the best way to describe the sound of this band would be a very dark, bleak, and mythological style of black metal. My first introduction to this band was their 2010 third full-length album entitled Metzi Obscura. I thought that was a very, very amazing album. I believe I bought that around the time when I saw uh, Septic Flesh and uh, Inquisition and um, uh, Melichesh back in 2012. I believe I bought it from the Inquisition merch table and I bought it as a blind buy. I listened to that album and I thought it was amazing. Very good stuff, very death metal influenced sort of styles, but altogether it was a package that was just very amazing. And it only led me on to discover some of this band's earlier works. Uh, 2005's Venganza, uh, 2007's Cartoon, and the two splits that they did with bands such as Zygotsis and Thornspawn. Just some really awesome material. Even even knowing the fact that the drummer of the Mexican Disgorge was involved in this project is something amazing to behold, too. But ever since their previous full length in 2010, this band has decided to forego the death metal influences of their past and move forward into a straight-up, true and traditional black metal sort of style. And now here we are with their fourth full length entitled Darkness Beyond. It's seven tracks, and it clocks in at around 56 minutes in length, so this is going to be something you're going to strap yourself in for, because as is in the case with this band's previous full lengths, this is a band that definitely likes to craft and deliver some very intriguing stories within their music. And I believe with Darkness Beyond, I I honestly feel that Hackovitz have come full circle and embraced the hatred and and just straight out evilness within their sound and throughout the seven tracks that are on here it is really just marvelous to see how far this band has come along from what what they sounded like then and to what they can deliver now it's just amazing i mean it starts off with the track terra nihil i mean just the opening moments of that track get you started right away and then from then on there, you already know what you're going to be in for. It's just very, it's a very intriguing and mystical sort of listening experience. But if you're a fan of black metal, I would definitely say, get yourself involved with Hack of Eds. This is definitely a band to be on the, on the lookout for. Um, the riff work is incredible. I love the way these guitars sound. I love the, the way these the riffs sound, I love the tremolos, the, the, the certain tones, the picking of everything. It just sounds amazing. I mean, you hear it on Terra Nye Hill, and then on the title track, and then on the song Black Smoke and Ash. I just really think that the riff work here is very intricate, it's very entrancing, and I definitely think it makes for a, a, a very necessary amount of heaviness being presented here. Um, the bass work is very good too. You can definitely hear it very, very clearly throughout the entire record. I definitely think it's played very well. It's picked very well. I definitely love its tone of everything. It's not too loud to where it, it, it overbalances itself. I definitely think that this is something very well worth listening to. Um, it's a very well mixed uh, uh, sound, and I definitely applaud the... Um, the way that, that, that this record is produced. It doesn't feel too clean, it doesn't feel too too um, under-polished. I definitely think it fits just right for this band's sound. Um, the drum work is sensational too. I really love the way that this drummer handles himself. I love his variations and his and his and his switching from straight up fast traditional black metal sort of blast beats to the quick creative fills and rolls. I definitely like the way that this drummer goes, especially for the lengthier tracks that are on here, notably uh, Heresia and uh, Dead Dream. 
uh, even the closing track of this record, Time Is Now, which I believe clocks in at around 12 and a half minutes, I definitely think he handles himself very well on the, on the long songs on here. But uh, this current drummer that they have here definitely does a marvelous job. I love his speed. I love his energy. I love his, his juxtapositions between fast and slow parts. And I definitely think he makes this record definitely have that much more of an impactful heartbeat. And um, moving on to the uh, vocals, I love this vocalist style. It's just very demented and st and stirring. I love his vocal delivery. I love his 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 pain and anguish. It's just scary. Even to the moments where you hear him laugh, there are moments on this record where you hear him get into a more maniacal, crazy sort of laughter laughter sort of delivery. And I think he does amazing work with that aspect of the of the vocal performance. But aside from the laughing, you get the howls, the screams, the the growls. This guy definitely is all over the place with this record, but he definitely makes you, the listener, that much more want to get it much more involved in listening to what he has to talk about. The stories, the the vocal delivery, his performance, it is just so sensational, and I'm very much happy with the overall presentation of this album. So overall, I definitely, once again, think that this is hack of its coming full circle from what they sounded like then and to what they can definitely bring to to the metal masses now. I think Darkness Beyond is definitely an amazing record. If you are a fan of traditional black metal or any black metal that has many different influences from outside of stuff, I definitely think hack of its deliver an incredible record. So... I'm going to leave you some links in the description box as to how you can get a hold of this album and listen to it. I will link you to decibelmagazine.com where you can stream this album currently in its entirety. Hear it for yourself and be your own judge as to whether you think it's worthy of being purchased or not. And I will also link you to the Dark Descent web store where you can purchase a physical CD. There are currently CDs available. I do not know if there are going to be any other physical versions of this album in the format of record or tape. Um, hopefully more details will will be drawn out soon on that so again the album is darkness beyond by hackovitz this is released on dark descent records definitely check this out and for a score i'm going to give this a strong nine out of ten this is definitely some solid black metal from probably one of the top bands to come out of mexico with this sort of style so support hackovitz i'm going to conclude this review thanks all for watching thanks for checking out my channel and until the next time army help out